Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes, future results are not guaranteed, and finally, any investment decision you make is still your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. As always, we're starting off with the gold daily chart. And we can see that the past week, basically, we stayed within a range. 1680-ish up to about, I'm sorry, 1580 up to about 1660. About 100 point range is a little bit easier here to see on a one hour time frame with our market profile. A lot of volume um, accumulating here in that 1619 price level. You can see this is where the volume peak is here for Thursday and for Friday. So around the 1619 is our point of control. Uh, so what we're seeing here is gold obviously taking a nice little pullback here. Um, it tested the 200 moving average. And now we're consolidating as the markets um, retest their lows. So as the global economy's markets are retesting their August lows, if they uh, continue to break lower, then we'll probably see gold a uh, flight to safety in gold. If they bounce, uh, we may see a little bit more weakness in gold. So uh, as we have some of the uh, job situation, employment situation for most of the countries coming up this week and next week, we may begin to see some movement in the global economies and thus in gold. So as we compare that, we can see that uh, the euro dollar here also had a little consolidation here, but you can see Friday actually was a big push down towards our 1.33 support. Um, on our one hour time frame, we can see that we are in um, a buy zone. We're below our long term moving average. We can see that the dollar clearly is controlled. We got a little divergence here. With that divergence, is where we saw that last push down here. Um, and the reason we're seeing that is the euro started to trend down uh, below its long term moving average as the dollar began to trend higher above its long term moving average. Again, showing the dollar in control, the divergence, price moved down. Right now, we can see ever fractionally the sellers are in control as we remain neutral. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here if we retest the 1.3, if the buyers will take control. We certainly see some probabilities of that happening. For the pound dollar, we can see. I uh, had a weekly here. Let's go back to the daily. You can see that we tested our support area and then we consolidated for the week. A uh, little resistance here in the 20 moving average. But overall, we're sitting in a neutral zone. You can see we've been there for a couple days and that's supported by the four days we see here. So I did take the time to go ahead on a one hour time frame to walk, mark the 1.55. Be interested to see what happens as we move down. Here we can still see that the dollar is in control, but the pound, unlike the euro, is trending a little bit higher. And so it's not as, uh, uh, we, we have a little divergence here. And then as they came together, that's where we saw the price action move up. Whoops. Let's try that again. That's why we saw price action move up here as the pound began to move higher. But as we got divergence again, price moved lower. So as long as the dollar is in control, we know this, this will move lower. Uh, maybe we'll continue to see resistance here at, at, from the 20 moving average. But again, we can see that the pound overall is trending higher, uh, but the dollar is trending higher at a higher rate, thus the dollar is in control. And here we can see uh, the sellers are in control also with some move, to move lower. Finally, we'll look at the uh, dollar franc. Uh, beautiful move here. 
uh, testing the support of 0.89 uh, and uh, light gold we're seeing you know some sideways action here breathing after uh, several big moves higher um, on a one hour time frame we are in a sell zone uh, but the dollar is still in control so as long as the dollar is in control this will continue to move higher the franc began to average off as the dollar moved higher that's why we got the divergence that's why we got to push higher uh, here we can see maybe the buyers are in control but we're basically in a neutral zone so we'll have to wait to see what happens as long as the dollar is in control we will move higher and on a daily, our next area that we'll be watching is uh, 0.93. As we look at today's watch list, we start out with our low volatility, one hour time frame using Bolger Bands. And for that, we do not have any candidates. For our inside bar watch list, which is watching Friday's frame as compared to Thursday, and we do have one candidate to pound yen. Moving on to our education spotlight, we'll continue our discussion about trading plan and trading system. And one of the most overlooked aspects of any trading plan or any trading system is review. And that is one of the most important parts, is to take the time and do a review of every trade. And of course, that's usually within a, uh, any type of journal that you keep. You want to keep track of the time of day, the actual setups, the actual uh, how much you result. Did you take profit? Did you take a loss? How much heat did you take? What was the potential profit? And this allows you to make adjustments to the current market climate. Let you know if you should tighten your stops, if you should loosen your stop, if you should go for bigger targets or for smaller targets. You have to review your trading to make sure your trading style that you're currently using is proper for the current market climate. You know you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free five course video on high probability trading. Watching these videos, there is a bonus. Also, a six video, but it helps you design and let you know what should be a part of your high probability trading setups. And we hope it gives you an insight into who we are as coaches and how we can help you develop your own trading plan one on one and develop that trader's mindset to implement that trading plan. Cash back for Forex Trade. If you're going to trade Forex, why not get paid to trade? This uh, does not change the spreads or the trading conditions. It's just rebates for your trades. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we can give you that. Uh, of course, you want to make sure it matches your trading style. You can receive the signals to trade, or you can have it automatically traded. In the end, it doesn't make a difference about the system, the indicator, or whether or not you have high probability trading stuff if you can't pull the trigger. And one of the ways that we develop that trader's mindset is by documenting and reviewing in our journal our current trading style. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.